<coughs> I think it's recording. Amigos, hello. Um, Buena sera, kia pa, como esta, que pasa? Que ato, si ando, amigo, ay, ay, hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? YouTube, 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 Facebook, Facebook, Internet, Google, Internet, Google. Okay, I've got four things to go. I do this all the time. I'm doing recording. This is how I do it. I, I'm supposed to, many, I don't know why, don't like yeah. Subscribe to Intermix Hector. Subscribe to Intermix Hector YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe. Be nice, please. Okay, let's go. Um, haven't haven't researched any of this. We're just gonna pick one. Android trouble implementing a Pony SDK Stack Overflow. I am trying to implement a Pony ads into a new app I'm writing. I have followed the SDK integration guide, but am getting can't resolve symbol issues. Per the guide, I have added the following to my manifest activity Android name equals com dot turbo dot adpilani dot adpilani overlay Android config changes equals keyboard hidden ori and tashin screen size Android theme equals at Android style slash theme dot translucent dot no title bar dot full screen slash activity Android name equals com dot turbo dot adpilani dot adpilani full screen Android config changes equals keyboard hidden orientation screen size Android theme equals at Android style slash theme dot b Black dot no title bar dot full screen slash activity android name equals com dot turbo dot adpilani dot adpilani browser android config changes equals keyboard hidden orientation screen size android t him equals at android style slash theme dot black dot no title bar dot full screen slash in my manifest all three have the same issue in the android name equals field everything but com is red and hovering says cannot resolve symbol turbo cannot resolve symbol at Glini. Cannot resolve symbol at Galani overlay, etc. etc. I have added the SDK libs to my projects libs folder. I also have the issue in my activity. Import com.gerbo.adgalani asterisk in that the gerbo gives the cannot resolve symbol issue. Dependencies in build.gradle. Per comment, added to Gradle, tried with both direct copy slash paste leaving as compla name fiber mediation at Galani minus version, xtar as well as Compla name fiber mediation at Galani minus 2.2.2 xtar neither works throws the following error on sync. Stack Overflow where developers learn, share, and build careers. Stack Overflow where developers learn, share, and build careers. Number 1 Trust Banner SDK MS Text Size or Just 100% WebKit Text Size or Just 100% Number 1 Trust Ban or SDK.1 Trust Vendors List Handler Cursor Pointer Color Number 1F96 DB Font Size Inherit Font Weight Bold Text Decoration None Margin Left 5PX Number 1 Publications what to do if I feel that a senior academic is trying to take advantage of me? Academia Stack Exchange, TLDR rather than have to consider the possibility that you might be lucky enough to be able to and see if it could be a better fit, in my opinion at Buffy Nails Itis usual, but I would like to add some additional spin and context, those familiar with it will know my answer by a single reference Tordo's number. As discussed in answers to the history of science and math essay question which Mathematician traveled to and moved in with each collaborator, where Erdos would not only invite himself into the academic world of various other mathematicians he had also invite himself into their homes. The idea that the more senior and slash or experienced mathematician saw that discussing together was going to be productive and so willed a prior side for both parties what would happen next might seem at first weird in the 20th century to most 
but as several answers point out things are a little different in mathematics and mentorship is much more common and probably much more important than in many other academic fields. You have to trust your gut, but if your gut allows for the distinct possibility that you are being mentored, that you will learn a thing or three from this interaction, that the road to paper acceptance might be a little smoother and faster, and that there's nothing that smells particularly predatory about the interaction. In other words, if you can't identify any clear harm here, I add say go for it. I have seen mathematicians' web pages which list their interactions or even the lineage advisors of advisors prominently, and heard accounts of grand advisors and great grand advisors firsthand. Collaboration is often hard for people, demonstrating that you can do research with, and write a paper together with another mathematician, and that you can accept mentorship are great qualities to show. https colon slash slash www.mathscareers.org.ic slash erdos numbers slash Transit to Stuttgart through Zurich feasible? Travel Stack Exchange. I'm preparing to travel to Stuttgart, Germany. The following map shows cost from my nearest airport to various locations near Stuttgart. The most economical option seems to be to go to Zurich and get a train to Stuttgart. I do not intend to stay in Zurich, but only in Stuttgart for a few days. Is this indeed economical? Do travelers frequently do this? If yes, should I get my visa from German or Swiss embassy? There's also the question of CHF slash EUR. If I only ever have to spend on rail, which I can do online as such, does it make sense to keep CHF with me? Asked 22 hours ago. New contributor Hoset is a new contributor to this site. Take care in asking for clarification, commenting, and answering. Check out our kit of conduct. One Mark Johnson answers your questions about visas if Germany is the main destination for your visit, you should apply for a visa from Germany, even if you fly into Switzerland or another country. As for your questions about trains and money, you can buy a ticket for this journey either from the Swiss train operator, SB or the German train operator Deutsche Bahn. You will want a ticket from Zurich Flughafen, the train station in the Zurich airport, Tostigart HBF, the main train station in Stuttgart. The Zurich Airport train station is connected to the airport. The path is very clearly marked, and you will not even have to go outside. The train journey to Stuttgart will take about three hours. You can save a significant amount of money by buying your ticket in advance and for a specific train, rather than a flexible ticket that can be used on any train. But be warned that, if you buy an inflexible ticket, you will not be able to use it for a later train if your flight is delayed. You can also buy a ticket at the train station on the day of travel but this is the most expensive option. It is true that francs are the currency of Switzerland, but most Swiss businesses and certainly all business in the airport or train station will also accept cashless payments with a credit or debit card, so you should have no problem buying a train, ticket or a coffee or some chocolate in the train station without withdrawing any cash. Many, but not all, businesses will also accept cash euros as payment, but possibly at an unfavorable exchange rate. Answered 22 hours ago. MLC MLC 981111 gold badge, 3434 silver badges, 5959 bronze badges. One, you should apply for a visa at the consulate of the country of your main destination, where you will be staying the longest in this case Germany, independent as to whether you arrive in the Schenen area in Frankfurt, Munich or Zurich, is where you must apply for the visa. All three cities have good train connections, so it's a matter of checking when you arrive and the best connection time slash price relation. Answered 22 hours ago. Mark Johnson, Mark Johnson, 19.6K, 11 gold badge, 3,434 silver badges, 7,878 bronze badges. Additional information, going through Zurich is certainly doable, but the most convenient option is IMO Frankfurt. Frankfurt Airport has a high-speed train station, and there are plenty of non-stop trains to Stuttgart directly from the airport. Takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes. And you only have to deal with a single country and currency. Most trains from Zurich will require two changes and it takes over 3 hours. Switzerland is not part of the EU, so you will occasionally run into a passport, check at the border or when boarding the train. You typically can get by using a card, but everything snacks, drinks, yummy chocolates will be way more expensive. Munich is somewhere in between. The airport is out in the boonies.
so you always have a longish S Bahn ride to Munich main station first. Prices for trains are not much different. Answered 16 hours ago. Hilmer Hilmer 77.8K 66 gold badges 140,140 silver badges 255,255 bronze badges 4 I would second Hilmer's suggestion off looking at Frankfurt. Frankfurt's airport is larger than Zurich, so if anything happens to your flight, you may have a better chance for a rebooking. Larger airports may also be more prone to delays. I don't know about the track record of Fra versus Zier here, though. The train connections from Fra to Stuttgart are much better. It takes about 115 hours from Fra versus 320 hours from Zier, and most connections from Fra are either direct or with a single change, whereas coming from Zier, you will probably have to change trains at least twice or even more often. Far more ways for things to go wrong, and things going wrong is usually the last thing you want after a long flight in an unfamiliar country. Plus if anything goes wrong with the train, you only have the German system to worry about, rather than both Swiss and the German ones. Should not be a major problem though, your ticket should be valid, and both websites at bond.dansbb.chair integrated and should give you the same information. The frequency of train connections is about the same, though no need to pre-book a specific train. Especially since your flight might be delayed, just buy a flexible ticket and hop on the first train. Munich Muck is so far out of the way that you first have to take a train to Munich main station, that's a bit painful. From there, there are frequent direct trains to Stuttgart though, so overall, I would consider it on par with Zurich. Finally, Stuttgart does have its own airport STR, with mostly regional connections. Depending on where you come from, you could fly there and take local transport to your final destination, regional trains or a taxi. Source, I live rather close to Stuttgart and actually work close to Zurich. Answered 12 hours ago. If it's like a foreign thing, stuff it change. What are these people asking for questions, like, whatever? Well, this is mad, eh? Who runs the Russian-controlled Donetsk and Lutheran and regional level? No way. <laughs> what the hell? Article. Let's go to that. I'm about to come and come and bon 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 Oh, Turkey, well, economic, pub, politics, accept, <laughs> accept, or be the photo analyzer. Are we gonna go there? Mumba, 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 analyze, analyze, bitch. Get the palo, 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 come on, no me lo dalo. Get the dole, dole, et dole, 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 et dole, dole, dole. え、え、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、
Cabo, that's stupid. Stupid mic. Come on, that's stupid, Mike. That's really stupid. Okay, you're, you're really pathetic. God, never, never, pathetic. You're never, never, pathetic. pathetic. Now you're going to it, are you? You're pathetic, man. You're stupid, though. This is Turkey security. Take forever to get there. Still no apology, says Turkish student after discrimination over Sweden's NATO bid. Istanbul, a Turkish university student whose internship application was rejected by a Swedish professor over the country's pending NATO membership bid is still waiting for an official apology. Satna Zerares, a third-year undergraduate studying psychology at Istanbul's Ivan Halden University, was accepted by the EU's Erasmus Plus program for a summer 2023 internship at the university of her choice. One of the internships she applied for was at Sweden Stockholm University. On November 23, Satna sent an email to Per Kalbring, who leads a clinical psychology research group at the university, asking to take part in a research project led by him. Within a few hours, Kalbring replied in English, I would love to host you. However, since Turkey does not allow Sweden to join NATO, I have to decline. Sorry. Last June, Turkey, Sweden and Finland find a memorandum designed to pave the way for the two Nordic countries' NATO bids. Turkey has not rejected their bids, but says both countries have to live up to their pledges in the memorandum to take a firm stand against terrorism in order to gain membership, which it stresses they have not yet done. About the incident, Satna told Anadolu, the head of the department apologised to me and said he had spoken to the person Kalbring. However, I asked what concrete steps would be taken. They didn't answer. We're taking action, necessary actions have started, they said later. When I asked the university to provide me with evidence, documented, and said he expect a formal apology from the person, I didn't get a response. Still there's been no apology. The Turkish student filed a discrimination complaint with the university on December 5th. On December 5th, she got an answer from Torun Lind Holmotmo, deputy head of the psychology department, apologising for what happened. Noting that her internship application was later accepted by another professor at the same university, Satna said, I got a lot of support during this process. People listed me up a lot. This made me happy. I feel that people's stance against such injustices was very firm. I can say that made me very happy. Turkish University condemns incident. Ida Halden University called this incident unacceptable, stressing that universities are expected to show an inclusive attitude by focusing on education and research, leaving politics aside. Even though Stockholm University apologised to our student, there is still no sanction regarding academic Kalbring, who showed this ugly attitude. In addition, it is essential to take necessary measures so that other students who apply from Turkey do not encounter similar attitudes, the university added. Sweden and Finland formally applied to join NATO in May, abandoning decades of military non-alignment, a decision spurred by Russia's war on Ukraine. But Turkey, a NATO member for more than 70 years, voiced objections. Accusing the two countries of tolerating and even supporting terror groups, including the PKK and CTOLA terrorist organization SETO. Last June, Turkey and the two Nordic countries signed a memorandum to address Ankara's legitimate security concerns. 
paving the way for their eventual membership in the alliance. Turkey has praised some steps taken by Sweden and Singland, but says the countries needs to do more to show their firm stance against terrorism and terror groups that threaten Turkey. In its more than 35-year terror campaign against Turkey, the PKK listed as a terrorist organization by Turkey. The Yasiniyu has been responsible for the death of over 40,000 people, including women, children and infants. Seto orchestrated a defeat at Ku in Turkey on July 15, 2016, in which 251 people were killed and 2,730 for wounded. Ankara also accuses Seto of being behind a long-running campaign to overthrow the state through the infiltration of Turkish institutions, particularly the military, police and judiciary. Asterisk writing by Feta 7 Can Anadolu Agency website contains only a portion of the news stories offered to subscribers in the Unnews Broadcasting System has and in summarised form. Dot, please contact us for subscription options. Que bueno. What a bad a party, no. What a bad a no. So it's Turkey that doesn't let Sweden become uh, a part of NATO. Why? Is Turkey some kind of a powerhouse? I thought it was America. Oh, 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 oh. Next minute they can say, oh, you know, America, they, they all over the place. Yeah, yeah, Turkey. Yeah, you're right. Give me the fucking shit, man. Man, that's stupid, eh, amigo? Ukrainian president approves sanctions against 198 Russian cultural media figures. Mandatory cookies are used on our website. Oh, okay, he doesn't do that, dickhead. No mandatory cookies, mate. No, it was not like that. You, you, you just now, now you, now you, now you, your algorithm has stopped me from fucking doing shit. So uh, I'm gonna fuck you up. Go away, mate. Go away, mate. You piss me off now. You piss yourself off. Piss your pants, mate. Piss your little pantalon, man. Okay. Uh, you gotta come to stock exchange and do. <laughs> look, they they've got a forum. Set of cookies. Okay, we'll put that in the map. Salesforce announces retail media network innovations. Salesforce for Retail Today announced a series of measures designed to help retailers grow through customer, data-based advertising businesses and, generally, enhance the retail customer experience. Based on new research, disconnected experiences are the top frustration for retail customers. While 65% of those surveyed said they would remain loyal to retailers who provide personalized experiences data from a double-blind study of over 5,000, consumers across the US, UK, Australia, Canada and Singapore. Why we care. The retail media network innovations are very broadly described by Salesforce in today's no way now. No, no, no.
Earth System Governance Project Wikipedia. The Earth System Governance. Well, at least it's all one minute. Earth System Governance Wikipedia. Earth System Governance EI is a recently developed paradigm that builds on earlier notions of environmental policy and nature conservation, but puts these into the broader context of human-induced transformations of the entire Earth system. The integrative new paradigm of Earth System Governance has evolved into an active research area that brings together a variety of disciplines including political science, sociology, economics, ecology, policy studies, geography, sustainability science, and law one conference said it. Major international conferences on Earth system governance have been held in Amsterdam 2007, 2009, Berlin 2008, 2010, Colorado 2011, Lund 2012, 2017. Tokyo 2013, Norwich 2014, Canberra 2015, and Nairobi 2016. In 2017, the 8th Annual Earth System Governance Conference took place in Lund, Sweden. This conference was co-hosted by Lund University during its 350-year celebration 2 in 2018. It was held in Utrecht, the Netherlands 3 in 2019. The conference took place in Mexico. In 2020, Brastislava was to host, but events are rescheduled for 2021 due to COVID-19 for policy engagement edit. On 16 19 May 2011, more than 20 Nobel laureates, several leading policy makers, and some of the world's most renowned thinkers and experts on global sustainability met for the third Nobel laureate symposium on global sustainability 5 at the Oil Swedish Academy of Sciences in Stockholm. The Nobel Laureate Symposium concluded with the Stockholm Memorandum 6 calling for strengthening of Earth system governance as a priority for coherent global. Action 7 This memorandum has been submitted to the high-level panel on global sustainability appointed by the UN Secretary General and fed into the preparations for the 2012 and Conference on Sustainable Development, Rio Plus 20. History Edit the new paradigm of Earth System Governance was originally developed in the Netherlands by Professor Frank Beerman in his inaugural lecture at the VU, University Amsterdam, which was published later in 2007-8 based on this pioneering contribution. Beerman was invited by the International Human Dimensions Program on Global Environmental Change to develop a long-term comprehensive international program in this field, which became in 2009 the Global Earth System Governance Project. Key researchers who have applied the Earth System Governance Framework in their work include Emikel Betzel, John Dryzak, Peter M. Haas, Norichika Kenny, Leonard Olson, and Owen Young. In 2012, 33 leading scholars from the project wrote a blueprint for reform of strengthening Earth System Governance, which was published in Science 9. Today, the term Earth System Governance is mentioned on 84,000 sites according to Google. The Earth System Governance Project Edit. In 2009, the UN sponsored Global Change Research Networks have set up a long term research program in Earth System Governance. The Earth System Governance Project. The Earth System Governance Project currently consists of a network of around 370 active and about 2,300 indirectly involved scholars from all continents. 10 since 2015, it is part of the overarching international research platform Future Earth. The International Project Office is hosted at Utrecht University, the Netherlands 11. Research centers on Earth system governance have been set up or designated at the University of Ghana, the University of Brasilia, Utrecht University, Thiegerman Development Institute, the seat of Network VU University Amsterdam, the University of Amsterdam, the Australian National University, Chiang Mai University, Colorado, State University, Lund University, the University of East Anglia, the University of Oldenburg, the Stockholm Resilience Center, the University of Toronto, the Institute of Technology and Yale University. In addition, strong networks on Earth system governance research exist in China, Latin America, Central and Eastern Europe, and Russia. Conceptual Framework Edit The Earth System Governance Project organizes its research according to a conceptual 
Framework guided by five sets of research lenses according to their 2018 Science and Implementation Plan 12 Architecture and Agency Democracy and Power, Justice and Allocation Anticipation and Imagination Adaptiveness and Reflexivity These center around four contextual conditions, transformations in equality, Anthropocene Diversity Edit Earth System, Science Partnership International Geosphere Biosphere Program International Human Dimensions Program, World Climate Research Program Diversitas, an International Program Program for Biodiversity Research Global Carbon Project, Land-Ocean Interactions in the Coastal Zone Global, Land Project Urbanization and Global Environmental Change Project UJEC, Global Water System Project GWs, see also Edit Earth System Governance Project Environmental Governance Global Governance Social Science, Sustainability Governance Earth System Analysis Slash Earth System Science Environmental Science Global Change Global Environmental Governance Multi-level governance, climate governance, environmental, policy, ecological, economics, ecological, modernization, sustainability, science, sustainable development, planetary boundaries, the Anthropocene reference set it. Carrot Coates, Lewis J. Kim, Rakhyun E. 2019 Earth System Law, the juridical dimensions of Earth, system governance, dot Earth system, governance, point one. 100,003.10.1016/js.2019.1000003.issn25 89 Carrot 2017 Lund Conference on Earth System Governance. Carrot 2018 Utrecht Conference on Earth System Governance. www.earthsystemgovernance.org. Retrieved 3 September 2018. Carrot 2020 Bratislava Conference. Earth System Governance. 2020. Archived from the original on 8 August 2020. Retrieved 27 August 2020. Carrot Third Nobel Laureate Symposium on Global Sustainability. Carrot Stockholm Memorandum, tipping the scales towards sustainability. Archived from the original on 11 December 2011. Retrieved 24 November 2011. Carrot the Stockholm Memorandum. Carrot Frank Bierman. 2007 Earth System Governance as a Cross-Cutting Theme of Global Change Research. Global Environmental Change. Volume 17. Issues 3 to 4. August October 2007. pp. 326 to 337. Carrot 1 Bierman, F. Abbott, K. Andreessen, S. Backstrand, K. Bernstein, S. Betzel, M. M. And Gupta, A. 2012. Navigating the Anthropocene, Improving Earth System Governance. Science 335 6074 1306 1307. Carrot 2 John Dryzek. 2014. Institutions for the Anthropocene, Governance in a Changing Earth System. British Journal of Political Science. Carrot Contact, Earth System Governance International Project Office. Retrieved 11 November 2020. Carrot Science and Implementation Plan of the Earth System Governance, Project PDF. Earth System Governance. 2018. Retrieved 11 September 2020. Bierman, Frank and Kim, Rakhyun E. Eds. 2020. Architectures of Earth System Governance, Institutional Complexity and Structural Transformation, Cambridge University Press. External links at it Earth System Governance Project Global Governance Project International Human Dimensions Program Archived 5 February 2009 at the Wayback Machine at Lund University Center for Sustainability Studies Utrecht University Copernicus Institute of Sustainable Development VU University Amsterdam Institute for Environmental Studies There you go, you heard it all. They've got Garmin after 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 Garmin. And the whole world has got these, 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 these extra. Oh, we saw bands! We saw bands! They don't do shit, okay? Why people protest? Why people do what they need to do? But no, no, they got Garmin after Garmin after Garmin tech, 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 technology. Right, they got it all. But why do we protest? <laughs> why do China want to kill the world? Why do Earth want to be the bad? They don't do nothing, okay? They've been doing this for years. They're manipulating us humans so we can just be guinea pigs and work for the system 
and just do what the system says, right? And in, in there for there is technology created by America, technology created by China, and Russia is now fighting Ukraine. So therefore, the Earth is really, really doing the good thing. They're doing really, really good, right? They're doing so good that the Earth is going better and better and better every day, right? Get it, get it right, right? YouTube says it's a copyright, it's a copyright, right? That's good, that's good, very nice, very nice, beautiful. Next minute, wipe you out, mate, wipe you out, shut you up. Nothing, no doctor, no how in the world has now been the best. You understand? The best was when Argentina won the World Cup. You think that's the best? They is the best, mate, the best. It's like that, technology the best. You're going to research the best that you need for the best of you and you are going to keep doing this to yourself. And you're going to keep going until the best of the best of the best of the best is doing it. European Parliament think they can do your data fucking over and kill you. Well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we've done that. We've done that. Now we need to go to this one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go with the ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba. E a o a o a o. What is G P N? How? Accept token. What is G D P R N? How does work for business? Okay, he wants you to, want you to analyze that shit. Do you work or let's go poloco? Let's go poloco. Relationship that makes. Talk to, talk to. Oh, they want you to can go in here, though. Oh, very fucking good, mate. About, mate, about. News, 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 mate, news. Super Savvy, wrapping up 2022 and charging ahead. The end of the year is traditionally the time when we review what we've done and achieve the highs and the lows of the year gone by. It's also the time to set new goals aka New Year's resolutions for the coming year. People often call this time magical because it gives us an opportunity to hit the reset button and make a promise to do something differently in the new year. Sparkles naturally, we decided to ask a handful of our bussy top managers at Super Office Sweat Achievements. Okay. We humans do as we can and how we can do things, right? We live lifestyle, we do life and do the life that we need to. Us who are lazy, who are stupid, who are whatever, I can consider you join my channel, Intermix Hector, and you will realize how, why I have to kill myself, why, how I have to cry, why, how lifestyle, how do we, or there, or where, Anyway, which is gonna end very stupidly, right? And it's not very nice. I tried, I went, I did. I saw the sexy lady, I went up to her and I said, excuse me, can I give you my number? Some guy wanted to knock me out, so I, I said, oh, yeah, mate, knock me out now, is it? Well, you for the internet, you are telling me you are not doing the right thing for Earth. Earth is fighting for war. War, you understand war, you understand virus, you understand YouTube, you understand Facebook, you understand the whole lot. Don't forget, they got the new chat box, it's called Chat GPT. Go to that website, Chat GPT, I already told you. You also can flash and do things to your phone and you can upgrade it to the best and if it's a shitty phone, maybe not good idea, but some phones you can root it or do this. And in many respect of life, you have to be calm, collective, relax, do the things that are more important to you, not to anyone else. You are a special. Not this see, do whatever they tell you that what, whatever. Don't listen to anyone. Listen to me. Listen to me and you can break the barriers. You understand? I don't have the formula. I don't have the problem. I will consider you to write things down. Write things down when you go to a website. If you say, oh, I have to bookmark this, I have to do, it. no, no, no. I'm here for you and I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life until I die, you understand? Is, is, is not, not going very well now. Here in Australia, no good. Nowhere, no good. It costs money to come here, you understand? We'll soon get out of this business anyway. 
We have to love each other. We have to be ourselves. We have to contribute to the community. We have to look high, low, and to access everybody. You will love it. You will love it. It's all, oh, let's have fun, 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 fun. For 20 hours, fun, this, that. We can go anywhere. We can plan it out. We can go, <coughs> show us the, yeah, we, this is, um, 500 kilometers away, and this is the big city. In 500 kilometers away, big city, we can explore it and do this, do that. Okay, we can do it. We can muck around. We can break a breaker, do a looker, and you can break my brain scene. And you can break, 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 and how, how, how. Just listen and reply. Just listen, reply to Intermix Hector. Here. Sparkles naturally. We decided to ask a handful of our bussy top managers at Super Office what achievements they were proud of in 2022 and what goals they have set for themselves and their teams in 2023. And here is what they had to say. We should continue our good work and make sure that our product Super Office CRM brings even bigger value to our customers in 2023. Gail Gentoft. CEO, I am very proud that we welcomed more than 200 new customers to our cloud offering in 2022. I am also very impressed by the fact that more than 2,000 existing customers have expanded their SuperOffice CRM solution in 2022. Although the competition is tough, these two achievements show that SuperOffice CRM, the App Store partner solutions, our professional go-to-market team, and our partner... Okay, we don't really need to know this because we're not going to win, lose, or whatever. They're not going to keep your mobile phone. They're not going to keep your house. They're not going to do anything. They're just implementing that you should be more alive, more creative, more intelligent, more, more, more. On the name of God, 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 on the name of God. You understand? I'm getting out of this one because it's not implementing that what is meant to be implemented anyway. Shows Microsoft Learn. Shows discover thousands of hours of fun, authentic, and informative original programming from Microsoft technical experts. Featured, with its focus on tooling both in and outside of Visual Studio HTTPS colon slash slash devblogs.microsoft.com slash Visual Studio slash. This show will help you become a more productive developer. Join your hosts Leslie Richardson and Robert Green and see what tools you can put in your Visual Studio toolbox. Watch the Azure Enablement Show, where we share technical advice, tips, and best practices to accelerate your cloud journey, build well-architected cloud apps, and optimize your solutions in Azure. Popular. Join our experts as they provide tips, tricks, and strategies for preparing for a Microsoft certification exam. Our exam prep videos will help you identify the key knowledge and skills measured on the exam and how to allocate your study time. Each video segment corresponds to a major topic area on the exam. Our trainer will point out objectives that many test takers find difficult. In these videos, we include example questions and answers with explanations. We recommend that you watch these videos after you have completed training or had some practice. However, you can watch them at any point in your certification journey. We also provide additional exam preparation resources. New video every week. Subscribe to stay up to date with latest Microsoft IoT announcements, product and features demos, customer and partner spotlights, top industry talks, and technical deep dives with IoT Show. IoT Show also offers live streaming events called IoT Deep Dive. Come learn about how to build IoT solutions and deep dive into scenarios like Intelligent Edge, DevOps, Asset Tracking, and other top requested technical deep dives. Microsoft's original mission was to put a computer on every desk and in every home. These days we don't just have computers on every desk and in every home, we have computers all around us from the kitchen to the living room, in our pockets and on our wrists. We've moved from personal computing to ubiquitous computing. We no longer just interact with a keyboard and mouse, we use our hands, our bodies, our voice. In each episode Jim is joined by a different guest technologist who has built a cool project in this new world of personal computing, from prosthetics, to robots, IoT devices, desktop computers, retro computing, mixed reality and more. 
This show will not only demonstrate these fun projects, but will point you to all the resources you need to recreate them yourself at home. The Low Code Revolution showcases stories and insights from industry experts on how you can revolutionize your applications and business processes with the Power Platform. Whether you are citizen developer, it pro, or code first developer, each episode will help you discover innovative ways that you can build applications faster and with far less effort by embracing the low code revolution. Beginner series. .NET multi platform app UI.NET MAUI is a framework for building modern, multi platform, natively compiled EOS, Android, MacOS, and Windows apps using C number and XAML in a single code base. In this video series, you will learn how to get started with .NET MAUI, C number, and Visual Studio to build your very first cross-platform, desktop and mobile app. Thanks for checking out Microsoft's Java for Beginner series. Microsoft employees from locations around the world have come together to share their knowledge of Java and highlight what you can do with this exceptional language. Microsoft's mission statement is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more, and we hope this series of short videos inspires and empowers you as you learn about Java. Easily translate your SQL Server skills and experience to Azure SQL using familiar tools and techniques. Microsoft's Bob Ward and Anna Hoffman walk you through over 60 topics associated with moving to Azure SQL and the broader Azure ecosystem. Microsoft Graph Fundamentals is a multi-part series that teaches you basic concepts of Microsoft Graph. It will guide you with hands-on exercises on how to use Microsoft Graph API requests to start developing or enhancing your applications with Microsoft 365 data. Okay, does Microsoft have a forum too? You must have a discussion group or something. So you can go to Microsoft, let's see, I don't know, forum. Yep, it's got a, oh yeah, right, forum. Looks like it does. Or oh, somehow you can talk to Microsoft, ask any question you want. You know what I mean? It can, you can do that. But anyway, it wants me to do this. I don't know why, but. Visual Studio Family Data Subject Requests for the GDPR and CCPA Microsoft GDPR Microsoft Learn. Visual Studio Family Data Subject Requests for the GDPR and CCPA Article September 28, 2022. 10 minutes to read in this article. Products covered by this guide additional privacy information Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, and Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Developer Community, Zomarin Forums, Nugent Asp.net, AIS.net, other Visual Studio family services learn more. The European Union General Data Protection Regulation GDPR gives rights to people known in the regulation as data subjects. Okay, the European has involved themselves to do things. Why don't you do it properly? Get yourself some gas, petrol, food, get everything going, kill the pirates, do the right thing, no more war in Ukraine, everything should be stopped and things should be more nicer. Be pleased, be thank you, be good. European Union. <laughs> data. Personal data is defined broadly under the GDPR as any data that relates to an identified or identifiable natural person. The GDPR gives data subjects specific rights to their personal data. These rights include obtaining copies of personal data, requesting corrections to it, restricting the processing of it, deleting it, or receiving it in an electronic format. A formal request by a data subject to a data controller, an employer, or other type of agency or organization that has control over personal data to take an action on that data subject's personal data is called a data subject requester D senior. Similarly, the California Consumer Privacy Act CCPA provides privacy rights and obligations to California consumers, including rights similar to GDPR's data subject rights, such as the right to delete, access, and receive portability, their personal information. The CCPA also provides for certain disclosures, protections against discrimination when electing exercise rights, and opt-out slash opt-in requirements for certain data transfers, classified as sales. 
Sales are broadly defined to include the sharing of data for a valuable consideration. For more information about the CCPA, see the California Consumer Privacy Act and the California Consumer Privacy Act FAQ. For general information about GDPR, see the GDPR section of the Service Trust Portal. Products covered by this guide. This guide discusses how to use Microsoft tools to export or delete personal data collected during authenticated signed-in session usage of Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac and Microsoft extensions to them and to Visual Studio Code. This guide also covers how to make data subject requests for personal data collected when using Visual Studio Developer Community, Nuget.org, and the ASP.NET website. These products may enable the use of non-Microsoft tools and extensions, and Microsoft is not a data processor or controller for these tools and extensions. Users should contact the tool or extension provider to understand the personal data and collection policies for these tools and extensions. Additional privacy information The Microsoft software license terms accompanying the products The Microsoft Privacy Statement and Microsoft's GDPR commitments describe our data processing practices. Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, and Visual Studio Code. Personal data we collect as a data processor, under the GDPR, Microsoft collects the data we need from users to provide experiences for, and improve Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac and Microsoft extensions to them and to Visual Studio Code. There are two categories of data, customer data and system generated logs. Customer data includes user identifiable transactional and interactional data that these products need to perform the service they provide. For example, to provide users with personalized experiences such as roaming settings, we need to collect user account information and settings data. System generated logs are usage or diagnostic data that are used to help identify and troubleshoot problems and improve our products and services, and may also contain identifiable information about end users, such as a user name. System generated logs are retained for no more than 18 months. As an example, system generated logs are aggregated for each day of product usage and include the usage date the product used for example, Visual Studio 2017 inches, the action you took for example, versus slash core slash package it costs summary slash solution load, and the number of times the action was taken, as shown in this sample, time 2 slash 23 slash 2018 to 12 000 000 am app name Visual Studio. 2017 inches action versus slash core slash package it costs a slash solution load target one times to this platform windows 10 enterprise ip null imputed null search term null search result null time 2 slash 23 slash 2018 to 12 000 000 am app name visual studio 2017 inches action versus slash odd slash connected slash account management slash account target one times to this platform windows 10 enterprise ip null imputed null search term null search result null time 2 slash 27 slash 2018 to 12 000 000 am app name visual studio 2017 inches action versus slash core slash perf slash satellite pitch full usage target 23 times to this platform windows 10 enterprise ip null imputed null search term null search result null for more information see system generated logs collected by visual studio only personal data that is attached to authenticated identities can be serviced by a d senior so, for example, because Visual Studio Code does not support sign-in, system-generated logs from it are not attached to an authenticated identity and cannot be serviced. However, some Microsoft extensions for Visual Studio Code may provide authenticated data, and this data can be serviced by a D-Senior. For more information, see DPR and Visual Studio Code. In general, we do not store data for Visual Studio 2013 and earlier, however, Certain extensions and components may provide data attached to authenticated identities and can be serviced by a D-Senior as outlined below. How users can control personal data Visual Studio 2015 and later, Visual Studio for Mac, and Visual Studio Code provide the following means for your users to stop data collection, and for you as controller to export or delete data that has already been gathered. In app settings users can control the privacy settings for these products. For more information, see the following How to Manage Privacy Settings in Visual Studio. How to Manage Privacy Settings in Visual Studio for Mac. How to Disable Telemetry Reporting in Visual Studio Code. Exporting or Deleting Data. Controllers can manage customer data and system-generated logs collected from their data subjects by one of two methods. 
depending upon how their Visual Studio family product or Microsoft extensions were registered. In some cases, both methods must be used. Both methods allow controllers to download a copy of their activity history managed by that method. Closure of an ad or MSAW account deletes associated Visual Studio customer data and anonymizes personally identifiable data in system-generated logs pertaining to these products. Anonymized system-generated logs are retained for no more than 18 months. Users that have registered a Visual Studio family product by using an account that is backed by an Azure tenant, for example, ad account or MSAW account associated with an Azure subscription, can follow the instructions in Azure data subject requests for the GDPR. Users that have registered a Visual Studio family product without an account that is backed by an Azure tenant, for example many accounts using a Microsoft account MSAW, can use web-based Microsoft Privacy Response Center available through their Microsoft account to view, control, and delete activity data tied to their Microsoft account across multiple Microsoft services. In this scenario, the user is a controller for their own personal data. Note when an MSAW account holder deletes their account. All their personally identifiable data pertaining to these products is deleted, whether the account is backed by an Azure tenant or not, and system-generated logs are anonymized. For Visual Studio 2013, the data we collect is anonymized. For Visual Studio 2012 and prior releases, we immediately delete the data upon receipt. In both cases, there is nothing to view, export, or delete at a later time. We support General Data Protection Regulation GDPR requests through the Developer Community website. You can view, export, or delete your feedback data. Personal data we collect. Microsoft collects data to help us reproduce and troubleshoot issues you report with Visual Studio family products. This data includes personal data and public feedback. Personal data includes your developer community profile information, preferences and notifications, attachments and system-generated logs you provided by reporting a problem in Visual Studio or through developer community, your votes. Public feedback includes reported problems, comments, and solutions. How users can control personal data view. To view your feedback-related data, follow these steps. Sign into developer community. From the top right corner, click on your profile and select profile and preferences. Click on any of the profile notifications activity and attachment tabs to view the data submitted to the feedback systems. Profile refers to your developer community profile, including username, email address, about, etc. Asterisk asterisk notifications are how you control the email notifications you receive. Activity will give you the feedback items you have been active on posted, commented, etc. And the activities performed. Attachments is a list of your attachment history in a format like full a name was attached to the problem problem name to April 10, 18 to 27 p.m. Export you can export your feedback data as part of DSenior. We will create one or more .zip archives that will include your developer community profile information, preferences and notification settings, attachments you provided by reporting a problem in Visual Studio or through developer community. Note. We will exclude the following public feedback you have provided from your archive, comments, solutions, reported problems. To start an export, follow these steps, sign into developer community. From the top right corner, click on your profile and select profile and preferences. Click the privacy tab, and then click create an archivato request exporting your data. The archive status will update to show that we are preparing the data. The length of time before the data is available depends on the amount of data we need to export. Once the data is ready, we will send you an email. Click Download Archive in the email or go back to the Privacy tab to download your data. Note we will not send email if you chose not to receive notifications in the Notifications tab. If you request export again, we will remove your old archive and create a new one. Delete. Deleting will remove the following information about you from developer community, profile information, preferences and notification settings, attachments you provided by reporting a problem in Visual Studio or through developer community. Your votes note, we will not delete, but will anonymize the following public information, your comments, your solutions, problems that you reported. To initiate a delete, follow these steps, sign into developer community. From the top right corner, click on your profile and select Profile and Preferences. Click the Privacy tab, and then click Delete your data and account start deleting your data. A confirmation screen will appear. Type Delete in the box, and then click Delete My Account. Once you click Delete My Account, we will sign you out. 
We will delete your developer community account, your personal data, and attachments. We will anonymize your public feedback. Your public feedback will remain available on developer community and will be indicated as reported by an anonymous user. We won't email you after we delete your account because you will no longer be present in the system. If you report a new problem or log into developer community, you will be identified as a new user. If you delete your account from developer community, we will not delete it from other Microsoft services. Zomarin Forum's personal data we collect. Through Thexamarin Forum's user community, Microsoft collects data you provide to help us reproduce and troubleshoot issues you may have with Microsoft products and services. This data includes personal data and public feedback. The personal data we collect is user account data for example, user names and email addresses associated with your Zomarin forums and the public feedback we collect includes bugs, problems, comments, and solutions you provide via the Zomarin forums. How you can control your data Zomarin forums view. Users with active Zomarin forums accounts may view their personal data and public feedback for example, all of their posted threads and posts from their Zomarin forums account page. Users may also edit their personal data through their account page. Export. Zomarin forums are hosted by a third party, Vanilla Forums. To request export of your public data, users should contact forums at zomarin.com monitored by the Zomarin team. We will then work directly with Vanilla Forums to process this request. Delete. Zomarin forums are hosted by a third party, Vanilla Forums. To request deletion of your personal and public data, users should contact forums at zomarin.com monitored by the Zomarin team. We will then manually service the user's personal data deletion request. Note, Bugzilla for Zomarin no longer accepts new issues. Former Zomarin Bugzilla accounts, holders can view an archive of all bugs they've reported and all comments. They've added to bugs at tts colon slash slash zomarin dot dot io slash bugzilla archives slash to request deletion of personal data contained in the archive. Users can file an issue at tts colon slash slash dot com slash zomarin slash bugzilla archives slash issues slash new slash choose. Public feedback for example, bugs, problems, comments, and solutions that users have posted to the zomarin, bugzilla will not be deleted after receipt of a delete request. Public feedback will instead be anonymized by removing the name and email address associated with any public feedback created by the user, submitting the delete request. Nugget for more information on dsenior for nugget.org, see Nugget user data requests. ASP.NET, for information on dsenior for the ASP.NET website, see the ASP.NET website and GDPR data subject, request processing. IS.NET. For information on dsenior for the IAS.NET website, see the IAS.NET website and GDPR data subject, request processing. Other Visual Studio family services, SurveyMonkey from time to time, we invite customers to provide feedback on these products via SurveyMonkey. This data is deleted from SurveyMonkey within 28 days. Microsoft may retain this data internally for up to 18 months. If survey responses are authenticated, then we include them in export and delete data subject requests when servicing data subject requests for these products. Learn more Microsoft's GDPR commitments to customers of our generally available enterprise software products Microsoft Trust Center, Service Trust Portal Microsoft Privacy Dashboard Microsoft Privacy Response Center Azure Data Subject Requests for the GDPR. <clears throat> so every company place where they collect your information like Facebook, Google or Microsoft they all have a forum, they all have a system where you can go delete all that but they still save the second copy so they can sell it okay they making money but some people say, who cares, leave them alone, stuff them, I don't give a stuff now. Anyway. Ah, uh, I did it again. Okay.
We collect cookies. This collecting cookies business, that's how they get you fucking, that's how they get you fucking your data, mate. Don't bloody tell me. Don't tell me what you do or you don't. Subscribe to read Financial Times, what's included in Standard Digital. Access our essential offering, with over 600 journalists in 50-plus countries covering markets, politics, business, tech and more. You'll enjoy access to several newsletters. Oh yeah, right, you're supposed to read all this shit, eh? But you didn't read it, eh? Uh, you're not gonna read it, are you? No, look, it won't let you read it. It blocks it. it this, this one's stupid. Doesn't do, man. Doesn't do it. A stupid man. <coughs> the stupid idiot didn't do it. Now I have to do this one. Uh, have to go to... Life, though, technology. Napo, Napo. Wait, wait up. Um, entertainment. <coughs> They've gone. Anyway, it was meant to go like this. Oh, here they are. I found it now. They're there now. They're there. Now this financial one, business, I like this one, I, I don't know why, but I like this one, this is an Australian one, so ensure crowd, flood, Sydney shops, <clears throat> I've seen that one. You go into this one, <coughs> Bufa. Now, 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 it has to be something that, come on, can't be doing that. And that, and that is, okay, okay. And the ASX has suffered losses today. The benchmark you can see there, down about 0.6% here at the close. It follows losses on Wall Street overnight and just... Yeah, well, whatever, lady. Liam Betty. You've gone somewhere else, man. You really have. No, Paul, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Despite the solid jobs number released okay. earlier today. You, you want to talk or whatever it is you... Uh, now it's taking forever, is it? She's on the money. Victoria Divine Advice on 2023 Financial Goals News .com .au, Australia's leading news site. Author and podcast creator Victoria Devine has taken to social media to share the sentence you need to reach your financial goals for 2023. Ms. Devine, the author of two books and the creator of the She's on the Money podcast, says a reluctance to say the sentence no, it's not in my budget is one of her biggest financial killers in 2023. With more than 2 million downloads. She's on the Money has become one of the popular personal finance podcasts in the country, along with a book by the same name, and a second titled Investing with She's on the Money, Is Divine has built a significant following among millennial women. 
towards whom her advice is aimed. I used to feel so awkward saying, oh sorry, it's not in my budget Ms. Devine said on TikTok. It made me feel uncomfortable and I can be quite introverted she said. I also care what people think I know you're not meant to, but I do. Ms. Devine said everyone needed different coping strategies when prickly financial decisions arise. I found the best way was actually sharing my financial goals. How about we catch up? And I'll tell you about how I'm going with my debt progress, Ms. Devine offered as an example. She says other examples of coping strategies include making coffees at home and going for a walk with a friend rather than going out to breakfast. Honestly, I promise it will make it so much easier you just don't have to say no and that's it. In an excerpt from Investing with She's on the Money published in Australia in September, Divine encouraged more young people to invest their money, even if they only had as little as $2,000 to spare. There are plenty of self-made millionaires out there, proving you don't need to be rich to get started, Divine wrote. Any tiny amount you can set aside to invest can help grow your wealth. She's on the Money Budget Journal is set to be released in January. Read related topics Mel. As 200 Australian share market soars on back of U.S. inflation data news.com.au Australia's leading news site, the Australian share market is continuing to rise after hitting a five-week high on Thursday. The AS200 index opened 0.6% higher on Friday morning the seventh time in eight days it has risen. Energy stocks are lifting as oil prices rise for a sixth day, and a weaker U.S. dollar has helped commodities lift. It's left the AS200 roughly 4% shy of a record high. U.S. inflation was a key risk for markets overnight, but Wall Street stocks rose after showed it easing. The Consumer Price Index last month rose 6.5% from a year ago, the smallest increase since October 2021 and the sixth straight month of easing. The report was in line with projections and added to expectations that the U.S. Federal Reserve will pivot from a series of ultra-aggressive interest rate increases. Several analysts issued reports predicting the Fed would raise interest rates by a quarter of a percentage point in February, down from the half percentage point hike in December. Ryan Sweet, chief U.S. economist at Oxford Economics, called the report another small step in the right direction. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished up 0.6% at 34,189.97. The broad-based S&P 500 gained 0.3% to 3,983.17, while the tech-rich Nasdaq Composite Index advanced 0.6% to 11,001.10. Among individual companies, American Airlines surged nearly 10% as it lifted its earnings projections for the fourth quarter amid solid travel demand. Dow member Disney gained 3.6% after activist shareholder Nelson Peltz announced a proxy campaign to join the board of the entertainment giant. But KB Home fell 2.8% as the company's quarterly results lagged expectations. The home builder described current market conditions as challenging due to high mortgage rates and economic uncertainty. Markets are looking ahead to a deluge of bank earnings Friday, the unofficial kickoff of the quarterly earnings season. The group of companies releasing results includes J. Morgan Chase and Bank of America. With F. Aft fact check aft. Aft fact check offer your audience a meaningful response to misinformation in an informative format to explore subscriptions reactivity. Fighting misinformation requires thorough verification and an immediate response. Publish digital investigations examining viral content from social media on your website automatically and in real time.
24 languages available hash health hash environment hash science hash politics request a trial engagement aft fact check investigations are free from bias educational and based on evidence they include photos videos and multiple sources to provide answers to your readers questions this new format increases the time spent on your pages by up to six minutes aft has measured and strengthens trust with your audience Request a trial. Expertise verifying information has been at the heart of AFT's mission since its creation. A global network of more than 130 digital investigation experts within the largest editorial network of 2,400 people guarantees the reliability of the facts published on your website. Request a trial and exhaustive use of all content for portals and generalist digital sites. All ready to publish production up to 150 digital investigations per month 24 languages available. Monthly subscription rate based on audience size on request, RSS or OPI available soon. Technical support. AFP is our most expansive global fact-checking partner, working with us on nearly every continent to combat the spread of misinformation. Their global reporting footprint is invaluable to our program, and we're excited to bring their expertise to the U.S. Kura and Goldschlager, Integrity Partnerships, Facebook. Australia News Live, NSW MP to contest election despite husband's death. From one age ago, NSW MP to contest election despite husband's death NSW Liberal MP Lee William Shiz said she still plans to contest the March state election, following the death of her husband, Don. On Facebook, the Port Macquarie MP said her family had been overwhelmed by the huge number of flowers, phone calls cards and emails we have received over the past weeks, and her resolve is as strong as ever to stay on in Parliament. She said, Despite my sudden loss, I can confirm that I am definitely contesting the 2023 state election as the endorsed Liberal Party candidate and if Ray elected as the local member, I will continue to work tirelessly building on the unprecedented investment across every community throughout the electorate. Key events. Just a bit more on Kirigo's withdrawal from the Australian Open, via app. I'm obviously extremely disappointed, Kyrgios said, going in as one of the favorites, it's brutal. He had been scheduled to play Rushi and Roman Seifullin in the first round on Tuesday night. The 19th seed scratching is another hammer blow to the Melbourne Park Major, which was already ravaged by superstar withdrawals and retirements. Women's title holder Ash Barty, seven times champion Serena Williams, her sister Venus. Dual winner Naomi Osaka and retired legend Roger Federer are all missing in 2023. Australia's highest-ranked woman Ala Tomljanovic also pulled out on Saturday with a knee injury. Knee injury forces Kyrgios out of Australian Open. Nick Kyrgios has been forced to withdraw from the Australian Open due to a knee injury, app reports. Kyrgios's physio says the 2022 Wimbledon runner-up has a cyst growing on his meniscus. While it's not a career-threatening injury, Kyrgios is not sufficiently fit to contest his home Grand Slam. Australian tennis star Nick Kyrgios is pulling out of the Australian Open due to an injury to his knee. Support the Guardian. The Guardian's editorial independence has never been more important. No one sets our agenda or edits our editor, so we can deliver high-impact, trustworthy journalism each and every day. Free from commercial or political influence. We can report fearlessly on world events and challenge those in power. And because we believe in information equality, we keep Guardian journalism open for everyone to read, regardless of their ability to pay for it. No matter how unpredictable the future feels, we will continue to provide quality reporting so we can all make decisions about our lives, health and security based on fact, not fiction. Support The Guardian from as little as $1, it only takes a minute.
Thank you. NSW MP to contest election despite husband's death NSW liberal MP Lee William Shiz said she still plans to contest the March state election following the death of her husband Don. On Facebook, the Port Macquarie MP said her family had been overwhelmed by the huge number of flowers, phone calls, cards and emails we have received over the past weeks and her resolve is as strong as ever to stay on in parliament. She said Despite my sudden loss, I can confirm that I am definitely contesting the 2023 state election as the endorsed Liberal Party candidate and if Ray elected as the local member, I will continue to work tirelessly building on the unprecedented investment across every community throughout the electorate. Kira goes to face police questions over e-scooter ride tennis starnick Kyrgyzis facing a please explain from police and potential fines for riding an electric scooter while not wearing a helmet and with a passenger aboard app reports. Just ahead of his first round, Australian Open clash the world number 21 was photographed on Elizabeth Street in central Melbourne on Sunday riding a lime e-scooter with a female passenger clinging to him. Neither of them were wearing helmets. In Victoria, it is illegal to ride an electric scooter without a helmet or with a passenger on board. Victoria Police Chief Commissioner Shane Patton has seen the photo and said the 2022 Wimbledon runner-up would be spoken to by Melbourne Highway Patrol. It's been reported to us. So because it's been reported to us, we'll reach out to Mr. Kyrgyz through Tennis Australia, he told reporters on Monday. We don't issue fines or anything like that without speaking to people to understand the circumstances and firstly identify that it is him. Kyrgyz on Monday tweeted a reply to retired Australian basketballer Andrew Bogut branding Victoria a nanny state, writing nah it's too much now followed by a series of laughing emojis. Victoria's year-long trial with e-scooter companies Lime and Neuron across three Melbourne councils was recently extended by two months. E-scooter hospitalizations in Victoria jumped from 128 in 2020 slash 21 to 427 in 2021 slash 22, according to Monash University's Victorian Injury Surveillance Unit. Patton said police must investigate the 27-year-old over the photograph because it is a safety issue and he warned that offenders face fines. We've seen significant injuries in the city throughout this trial where people have hit their heads and the like he said. It's a $231 fine for the rider of the scooter in this trial area for not wearing a helmet or a passenger. And it's a $185 fine for anyone who has a passenger on that scooter. Raf Gatuma, that is all from me on this Monday. Now handing over Tosh Taylor who will carry the blog into the evening. NSW Labour vows major gambling reforms leader of Enswalabur Partikris Minches dropped a major plan for reform to gambling in NSW which includes banning political donations from clubs, reducing the number of poker machines and slashing poker machine cash input limits from $5,000 down to $500. We are leading the way with real policy reform, Mins adds in another tweet. Reform that will reduce the number of pokies in NSW, while fighting problem gambling and money laundering and investing in harm minimization measures to address this problem head on. Our state deserves nothing less. This comes after Premier Dominic Perottas blamed form New South Wales Labour leader and Premier Bob Carr for pokies on every street corner in the state earlier today. More on this story here. Rugby Australia must be accountable over Rennie decision, says Mooney. On whether Rugby Australia showed publicly, explained Thrushuk decision to sacked off Rennie and reinstated E. Jones's Wallabies coach ahead of the Rugby World Cup. Former rugby union Pluff Philip Mooney says the organization does need to be accountable. It's quite easy to say we based our decision on Eddie being available and, you know, the results Mooney tells ABC News. I think at some point, the organization does need to be accountable and sit down and explain how and why they have come to this decision. Mooney says last year's Wallabies results were disappointing, though Dave Rennie did a great job with the resources he had. We lost to Italy for the first time. I think that probably was the performance that might have been the stake through Dave Rennie's heart. Eddie being an Australian, and having in-depth knowledge of our system, he will have his work cut out to get the systems below the Wallabies in order. Janik Sinner is the first big name seed through to the Australian Open second round, following a win over returning former semi-finalist Kyle Edmund. App reports. The 21-year-old world, no.16 crushed Edmund 6-4, 6-0, 6-2 in less than two hours at Melbourne Park today. With Australian super coach Darren Cahill in his corner, he broke the Brit seven times, dropped his own serve only once and clubbed 24 clean winners to Edmund's 10.
Family and friends farewell woman killed in Gold Coast helicopter accident church bells told amid tears and anguish at the funeral of Sydney mother Vanessa, Tedros, killed in a helicopter crash on the Gold Coast, app reports. Family and friends held a funeral service at Street John the Beloved in Mount Drutu, farewell Tedros, 36. She was one of four people killed when two helicopters collided and the chopper she was in crashed into a sandbar near SeaWorld on 2, January. British couple Anandi and Hewison pilot Ashley Jenkinson Weir also killed in the crash. Tedros 10-year-old Sonicolas, who was in one of the helicopters with his mother, woke from a coma on Sunday but remains in a critical condition. Husband Simon's eulogy was punctuated by silences as he held back tears, along with with hundreds of mourners at the Maronite Catholic Church in Western Sydney. Vanessa was a special person. Her smile was infectious. She had a pure heart. Every day we grew strong together, she was our protector he told the congregation. To my beautiful wife, I will always love you no matter what challenges face us, I know you'll always be with me. Rest in peace, beautiful. Local Hope Godetsky advances to second round of Australian Open and overjoyed Olivia Godetsky lives up to the hype to be the first home hope to advance to the Australian Open second round at Melbourne Park, app reports. The emerging 20-year-old star vindicated her wild card entry with a rousing 7-5, 6-1 victory over teenage qualifier Polina Kuter or Medovic O'Day. Mentored by retired reigning champion Ash Barty, Godetsky seized the opening set against Kuter or Metova with the only break of the set, nailing a booming backhand down the line in the 12th game which drew rapturous applause from spectators. Then came a run of six straight games won for Godetsky as she powered to her first Grand Slam triumph in only 76 minutes. I actually can't believe it. Wow, I'm speechless Godetsky beamed. It's such an amazing crowd, my home slam, my first ever main draw Grand Slam win. I mean, a girl can only dream. Search for missing woman in NT amid claims she and boyfriend were shot at a search continues in Central Australia for a woman missing for a week amid claims. She and her boyfriend were shot at by a gang before fleeing into the bush, app reports. Northern Territory Police believe 30-year-old Angie Fuller could still be alive despite not being seen since 9th January on the Tanami Road, north of Alice Springs. Acting Subtrop Engel said a large-scale search and rescue was underway with 240 SQKM already covered. We believe Ms. Fuller is alive, Engels told reporters on Sunday. There are certainly water sources in the area that she can access. The search continued after a video was posted online by a man claiming to be the missing woman's boyfriend. He said the pair were shot at by a gang before fleeing. Me and my girlfriend got ran off the road and then we got shot at by a gang. Read more here. Paul Carp Treasurer Spruik's best jobs growth of new government in 50 years, the Treasurer Jim Chalmers, has held a press conference to boast that Thielbond's government has achieved the best jobs growth of a new government in five decades. But Chalmers told reporters in Canberra the Australian economy still faces heavy weather due to global economic uncertainty, including due to the war in Ukraine and China's shift away from a strategy of COVID-0. Chalmers said Australia is facing a serious skills shortage, but he said this was not a recent phenomenon. He said labor is investing in skills, child care and wants to crack cycles of entrenched disadvantage to help the long-term unemployed into jobs. Asked if labor will increase job seeker in the budget, Chalmers said the government will do what we can when we can to provide cost of living relief, but warned that many measures come with a hefty price tag that he must consider. He didn't rule out reigning in some superannuation tax concessions, instead noting that the government is trying to pursue a sensible combination of spending, restraint and tax changes. The government had not said it intends to definitely crack down on super, he noted. On migration, Chalmers said this was part of the answer, and Labour is pursuing all levers simultaneously. He acknowledged it was a reasonable assumption that net migration may be higher than the 235,000 projected by Treasury. Responding tone analysis by former Immigration Department, Deputy Secretary Abel Rizvi, Elias Visante Virgin Australia's owners to seek advice on having company relisted on as. Virgin Australia's owners, Bain Capital, have announced they will seek advice about a future IPO and relisting of the airline on the AS. The airline was previously listed on the AS for 16 years, until early 2020, before it entered administration due to the early effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, and was later sold to private investment firm Bain Capital.
In a statement released on Monday, Bain Capital said it would seek advice on the best timing, structure, and metrics to return Virgin Australia to the AS when the timing is right. Bain Capital have signaled its intention as Virgin Australia slowly resumes flying internationally, following years of a mostly domestic strip back service since it took over the airline during COVID. Mike Murphy, a Sydney-based partner of Bain Capital said importantly, no decisions have been made as to when or even if any IPO will happen. Murphy said, while there is currently no set timetable, at some point in the future, if any IPO does happen, Bain Capital would welcome public market investors joining us as shareholders in what is a great Australian company. It is Bain Capital's current intention to retain a significant shareholding in a future IPO of Virgin Australia. Tori Shepard, vets want an invasive and painful greyhound breeding technique which involves removing the uterus and across Australia. About 80% of racing greyhounds in NSW are bred using surgical artificial insemination. The Australian Veterinary Association has released a new policy declaring sign must not be performed in dogs. The Prime Minister Anthony Albanese reiterates previous government statements that information is being sought urgently on the Australian on board the plane that crashed in Nepal. Josh Butler's Spanish traveler's visa cancelled after being caught with pancetta and goat's cheese. A young Spanish man has become the first traveler slapped with harsher penalties under toughened biosecurity laws having his visa cancelled alongside a hefty fine after being caught with undeclared pork and cheese in his luggage. Agriculture Minister Merwa said on Monday that the 20-year-old was stopped by officials in Perth last week and found with 275 grams of pancetta, 665 grams of pork meat and 300 grams of goat's cheese in his bags. The man had his visa cancelled and was fined $3,300. New laws, which came into force on 1st January, up the previous penalties of $2,664. Watt said the stricter laws were in a bid to stop diseases and pests entering the country, especially the danger of foot and mouth disease. I hope this man regrets his actions his visit to Australia was over before it even began, and he's been sent packing with a hefty fine, Watt said in a statement. We are serious about keeping foot and mouth and other diseases out of the country, and travellers need to remember that when they're trying to enter Australia. This was a serious breach of Australia's biosecurity laws and could put Australia's agricultural industries at risk, as well as our environment and international trade reputation. Watt added the general warning to travellers, if in doubt, just declare it. Daniel Hurst broadening understanding of health challenges in PNG a main aim of Australian M's trip, organisers hope. Organisers hope the seven Australian federal politicians visiting Papua New Guinea this week will gain a better understanding of some of the major health challenges the near Nabao faces. Further two posts about senior coalition frontbenchers in Birmingham's participation in the trip this morning. We can bring you a few more details about the delegation to PNG. The confirmed delegates also included Josh Burns who is chair of the Foreign Affairs and Aid Subcommittee, along with fellow Labour M's Mike Freelander and Michelle Ananda Raja. Birmingham is joined by two coalition colleagues, the Shadow Minister for International Development and the Pacific Michael McCormack, and the Shadow Health Minister Anne Rustin. The independent M. Sophie Scampsis also on the trip. The trip is organised by Pacific Friends of Global Health PF and runs from today until Friday. Prof. Brendan Crabb, the chair of PF, said it was a really exciting delegation of M's from across the political spectrum that includes shadow ministers and relevant committee chairs. He added, three of the M's Mike Freelander, Michelle Ananda Raja and Sophie Scamps are doctors, and three are former senior cabinet ministers. Crabb said the delegation would see have an opportunity to see some of the new tools and innovations to screen and treat women in remote settings against cervical cancer risk. Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer in women in PNG, despite Australia leading the world with its own elimination outcomes. The visit will help EMS understand how Australia's aid program complements the work of multilateral global health partners. Later, Lynn Morata, a board member of PF and vice chair of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, said in an emailed statement, Our main aim is for EMS to gain a better understanding of some of the major health challenges Papua New Guinea faces. We're hopeful they'll come away having learned about the high burden of communicable and non-communicable diseases, as well as the need to better prepare for future health security threats.
Opa! Opa! Bora lá, pega, Reca! Opa! How to live a longer, healthier life, six expert tips and tricks, from being happy and getting enough sleep, to exercising more and not stressing out south. China Morning Post. More of us are living until we are well into our 80s in Hong Kong in 2021, men's life expectancy was 83.2 years and women's 87.9 years. But that does not mean we are healthy or that we are even living a good life. Health and medical experts say that by adopting better habits and taking control of our mental and physical well-being, we not only stand a better chance of staving off potentially life-shortening illnesses, but are also more likely to feel better and function better and more independently as we age. In the new year, introduce these habits to your lifestyle as you have not done so already to gift yourself a longer, healthier life. 1. Eat more plant foods vegan early an annual challenge encouraging people to go vegan for a month happens in January and there is no better time to remind ourselves of the benefits of adopting a plant-based diet. Advertisement advertisement. Eating a diet of mostly plants has been proven to reduce our risk of chronic illnesses such as heart disease, diabetes, obesity and certain types of cancer. Says dietitian Drivana Herbie, the Nutrition Education Program Manager of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine in the United States. There's actually a dose-response relationship between fruit and vegetable intake and longevity, she says. Eating around for two five servings of fruits and veggies each day is associated with an extra three to four years of life. Plant-based foods including fruits, vegetables, whole grains and legumes provide anti-inflammatory nutrients, antioxidants and cyber which all help to keep cells in the body functioning optimally. Additionally, these foods are free of cholesterol and very low in saturated fat. Heart disease, which is responsible for one in five deaths each year, can actually be reversed on a low-sat plant-based diet. A hormone called SGS21 is strongly associated with longevity, Herbie says. Having higher levels of this hormone has a lot to do with what you eat. High cyber carbohydrates like beans and whole grains will have a beneficial effect on gut bacteria, which in turn leads to higher SGS21 levels, while a high-protein diet will reduce SGS21 levels. A diet rich in fruit, vegetables, grains and legumes may also reduce the risk of cognitive decline, such as Alzheimer's disease by almost half, allowing people to live longer, better lives, she says. 2. Get regular health screenings, regular checkups may detect life-shortening illnesses in the early stages, enabling patients to learn how to change their lifestyle to reverse the conditions or prevent further complications, says Drive Lily Wong, a family doctor at the London Medical Clinic in Hong Kong. Health screenings also give doctors the opportunity to assess their patients' mental health, which is key since our mental and physical well-being are interconnected. Click to resize. Women should consider having their first pap test a method of cervical screening at age 21 if they have been sexually active. The frequency of the screening depends on the woman's risk and what her doctor suggests. Women should also be taught how to self-examine their breasts and start getting mammograms at age 40 to establish a baseline. Frequency of the mammograms depends on their risk of developing breast cancer, Wong says. From age 50, men are at a higher risk of developing prostate cancer. 
They can be screened by getting a prostate exam and getting cancer blood tests with scans. Colon cancer is one of the fastest growing cancers, but it is treatable as detected early, Wang adds. In our later years, our risk of developing ischemic heart disease also called coronary heart disease increases. Assessing body mass index, blood pressure and cholesterol and glucose levels is important. So doctors can advise us to make lifestyle changes and prescribe medication if necessary. The VU exams at least every two years once you reach 40, one says, as they may reveal medical issues such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Schedule dental cleanings and check ups every six months as poor oral hygiene can lead to medical problems. Three, be optimistic. Researchers at Harvard University in the US have found a link between higher levels of optimism and living longer beyond 90 in women across racial and ethnic groups. The study, published in June 2022 in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society, tracked nearly 160,000 women aged 50 to 79 for 26 years. At the start, the women completed a self-report measure of optimism. Those with the highest scores were categorized as optimists while those with the lowest scores were categorized as pessimists. In 2019, the researchers followed up with participants who were still living. The women with the highest levels of optimism were more likely to live longer and also more likely than the pessimists to live into their 90s. The results held even after other factors known to predict a long life, such as education level, economic status and ethnicity, were taken into account. While it is unclear if the same is true for men, other studies that looked at both men and women, such as one published in 2019 in the journal PERS, found that people who were highly optimistic had a lifespan that was 11 to 15 percent longer than people who were less optimistic. 4. Enjoy sufficient quality sleep according to Hong Kong-based psychologist Drive Adrian Lowe getting quality sleep every night helps improve brain performance. Mood and health strengthens hardened immune system, maximizes athletic performance, and makes it easier to lose excess weight or keep our weight stable by helping to regulate appetite and body fat levels. Chronic sleep deprivation may increase the risk of developing high blood pressure, heart disease, heart attack, stroke, obesity, dementia, inflammation, depression and hypertension, all serious conditions that can potentially shorten life. Adults need seven to nine hours of sleep every night, Lowe says. To set yourself up to reach this goal, start a relaxing bedtime ritual, such as taking a hot shower, reading, listening to calming music, praying or doing breathing exercises, he recommends. Go to sleep and wake up at the same time every day and avoid alcohol and casing close to bedtime. 5. Move more often regular physical activity minus that is 150 minutes of moderate or 75 minutes of vigorous activity weekly helps keep weight stable, improves mood and energy levels and reduces the risk of developing major conditions like cancer, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Now science has found that doing more than this recommended amount can help us live longer too. A study, published in July 2022 in Circulation, looked at more than 100,000 participants over 30 years. Those who did to two four times, the recommended amount of physical activity enjoyed a significantly reduced risk of early mortality. Researchers defined moderate physical activity as walking, low-intensity exercise and strength training, vigorous was designed as cycling, running and swimming. If you only have time to exercise on weekends, another study, published in July 2022 in JAMA Internal Medicine, found that exercising for 150 minutes over a two-day session offered similar longevity benefits. 6. Keep stress in check. Chronic stress does not just impact our thoughts, feelings and behavior, it can also affect our physical health, says Lowe. Chronic stress is stress you experience over an extended period. It can cause fatigue and irritability and also make it hard for you to function optimally. Low fez. Plus, it may increase your risk of developing serious medical conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease and diabetes, and weaken your immune system, which may cause you to fall sick more often. Headaches, muscle tension, chest pain, fatigue, stomach upset changes in libidone insomnia are chronic stress symptoms. You may also feel anxious, overwhelmed or depressed. Your behavior may change, you may overeat or underrate, abuse drugs and flash or alcohol exercise less or withdraw from others. To manage stress, Lowe suggests getting regular physical activity. 
practicing relaxation techniques like deep breathing yoga or tai chi minus and maintaining aces of humor. Like what you read? Follow SCMP Lifestyle on CC Book Twitter and Instagram. You can also sign up for our ends letter here. Lifestyle and preparedness expert Cheryl Nelson shares post-college winter break tips and tricks. Virginia Beach, VA, January 13, 2023 minus, minus business wire minus winter break is winding down and college students across the country are preparing to head back to campus for the spring semester. As students are getting back into the groove of dorm and campus life, Cheryl Nelson, travel preparedness, lifestyle expert, laundry connoisseur and founder and owner of Burr Pair with Share, offers her tips to help ensure them that they are ready to settle back into campus routines and make the most of the semester. Getting back into routines after winter break can be difficult for many students after having weeks off from schoolwork, loads of free time, and not a full day-to-day -day schedule, says Nelson. To help students start off fresh on the right foot, I want to share ways on how to keep organization, health, and school a priority as their 2023 spring semester begins. Nelson recommends the following tips to tackle the upcoming semester. Utilize a planner and keep it handy at all times. One of my favorite tips for busy college students who are filling their day with class, the gym, and a social life is keeping a weekly planner. If a physical planner is not for you, I recommend using calendar reminders on your cell phone or laptop or using a sticky note that you keep in your backpack and cross out tasks as they occur throughout the day. This method holds you accountable and can be rewarding to show completed tasks. Make sure to have immune boosting products on hand. Returning from winter break, it can be hard for college students to get their bodies adjusted for the second semester and early class sessions. Make sure to have a medicine drawer in your dorm room and keep it stocked with products that contain vitamin C and zinc that boost immunity quickly. I like Hesicum Daily Immune Support, a gummy supplement designed with zinc, vitamin D, and vitamin C to give the immune system a boost all in one sitting. When cold symptoms do slip through the cracks, I recommend Jicum Rapid Milts, which shorten colds at first sign. Have a balanced diet and exercise. During winter break with ample free time, routines in the gym and diet can slip. Exercise can be performed in numerous ways from forfeiting the campus bus to walking to class, to spending an hour a few days a week at the campus recreation center. When in the dining hall, there are many delicious eye-catching options, but eating nutritious and vitamin-rich foods is key to stay healthy. I like foods that are fiber-rich, such as beans and broccoli, and those that contain vitamin C such as oranges, strawberries, and bell peppers. Separate laundry loads and declare a laundry day. I know when it comes to communal washers and dryers, it can be daunting to keep up with laundry and separating loads. I find it important to separate loads as much as you can even in college, to keep clothes bright and color intact. Using laundry bags for delicate garments is a great way to keep items from ripping or pilling. With many students hitting the gym as the semester starts and participating in intramural sports with friends, I recommend using a detergent like Airman Hammer Plus Oxyclean Odor Blasters, which removes stains and combats all odor easily. On Laundry Day, view source version on businesswire.com https colon slash slash www.businesswire.com slash news slash home slash Health advocator Al Rumi shares tips and tricks towards healthy lifestyle. Bstead Plantations. 
held an amazing and eye-opening session with guest speaker Al Rumi, who shared his transitional journey from being a sedentary, morbidly obese person to an avid runner and health advocate today. In a webinar joined by more than 100 BPB employees today, Al Rumi spoke on the importance of work-life balance, stress management and maintaining a health Twenty tips and tricks for selling your stuff online yard barker. When it comes time to declutter, many folks are hoping to make a little extra cash on the items that they no longer or never used, and thanks to platforms like eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark, it's easier than ever to sell your stuff online in a safe way. Looking to make some extra cash by selling your old baseball cards or last season's dresses. These 20 tips and tricks will make the process much easier and ensure that you make as much cash as possible. 1 of 20 Figure out what it's actually worth Shutterstock When you set out to sell that old TV or rare book that you inherited, the best thing to do first is to find out everything you can about it. Check sites like eBay and Facebook Marketplace for a guide to how items like yours have sold recently and price accordingly. If you're not able to find your item online and you think it's valuable, it might be worth contacting an antique appraiser or local expert for more information. 2 of 20 Determine your item's condition Shutterstock There are a couple of descriptors that online sellers use to describe the condition of items. There's new with tags, which is pretty self-explanatory, and new without tags, which means that the item has never been used, but lacks its original packaging. Excellent used condition refers to items that are still totally functional, while sold as is may mean that your item needs a little work from its new owner. 3 of 20 Figure out where to sell your goods. George Sheldon slash Shutterstock.com The platform you use to sell your item may be different depending on what that item actually is. If it's something bulky like furniture, local options like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist are best. If it's collectible, eBay might be the right fit. For clothes, sale platforms like Poshmark and Mercari are ideal. 4 of 20 Make sure it's clean and in the condition you specified. Shutterstock This really should be a no-brainer, but plenty of folks buy something second-hand each year, only for the item to arrive and be totally dirty or broken. Make sure to thoroughly clean your items before selling, and inspect to make sure you haven't missed any hidden holes in the sleeve of that sweater or cracks in the pricey vase you're trying to sell. 5 of 20 Be ready to haggle. Shutterstock In most cases, it makes sense to list an item online for a little more than you're willing to accept to make room for haggling. Most second-hand shoppers are trying to score a deal and will make offers that are generally lower than your asking price. If an item doesn't sell, you can always drop the price later. 6 of 20 Take high-quality photos. Shutterstock When folks are shopping on platforms like Mercari and Poshmark, high-quality photos are key. Use natural lighting and pose your items with complementary accessories or consider investing in a cheap mannequin if you've got lots of clothing to sell. Make sure that the lighting is accurate so that buyers aren't surprised by the true color or condition when their item arrives. 7 of 20. Lots of good photos. Shutterstock buyers really want to be assured that the item they're buying is as great as it seems, and having plenty of pictures can help prevent miscommunications. Take photos of all angles, especially any imperfections, and make them available upon request when buyers ask. 8 of 20 Be aware of scams. Shutterstock scammers lurk everywhere on the internet, and eBay and Poshmark are no exception. Make sure that you're only conducting transactions through the platform's official channels, and use protected payment methods like PayPal to complete purchases. A general rule of thumb, if an offer sounds too good to be true, it probably is. 9 of 20 Figure out how you're going to ship or deliver the item. Shutterstock when selling online, the right kind of packaging is key, especially when you're talking about fragile items like electronics. Use bubble wrap and paper to ensure that your item is secure in a sturdy cardboard box, and make sure it's taped securely to reduce the chance of mishaps during transit. 10 of 20 Consider buying shipping insurance. Shutterstock occasionally, a package gets lost in the mail. 
Paying a little extra for shipping insurance on the package means that you won't be out the cost of your item in the event your package is lost plus the cost of a refund to your disappointed buyer. 11 of 20 ship items in a timely fashion. Racinistokova slash Shutterstock.com If you're selling online, it's important to establish a good rapport with buyers, especially on platforms like eBay, where a one-star review can make or break future sales. Timely shipping is the best way to establish